No, 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 it's okay. So I'm fresh off a weekend of slaying gravel in Wilson's Creek, and uh, it occurred to me that some people may be wondering what is in my frame bag. So I figured I'd make a little video and uh, kind of walk you guys through what I carry, why I carry what I carry, and uh, tell you a little bit about my setup. Uh, I'm always kind of wondering what people are carrying in their bag uh, when I see other people with frame bags, especially the big bags. I often wonder how they can need that much stuff. So yeah, for instance, this bag, the Pro Discover big frame bag. It's got two zippers. This is the big compartment. And then it's got a smaller, not so deep compartment on this side. I dub this the Goldilocks of frame bags because it's not too big, it's not too small. It fits just what I need in it and uh, it's not overly stuffed, it's not tight, and it's, all, it's also not just a big open cavernous space where I'm like digging around for my things inside. It's got these soft Velcro leather straps which are adjustable here so they don't wear into your paint, keeping my seafoam my sea green paint nice and tight. And uh, it's fully waterproof. It's got some reflective bits for nighttime visibility and uh, protected zippers. So yeah, like I said, the Goldilocks of frame bags. Yeah, so now let me walk you through what I carry and why I carry what I carry. My name is Carrie. <laughs> All right, let's start off with tools. I keep everything nice and tight in this Lizard Skins seat, uh, saddle bag. Um, I just like to keep everything together. That way I'm not reaching around in my saddle bag for loose bits, uh, things that I need. I just take this out and pull out what I need. First things first is this Kona branded ski strap, which I suggest you go pick up in the Kona web store. Uh, you know, it's just a versatile thing that could come in handy out there and uh, it just keeps my bundle nice and tight. Blackburn Designs plug kit. I like it because you put a plug in, uh, set it, and forget it. That way it's ready, so when a, a flat comes, you just poke it into the tire, you're good to go. You put the plug in the, the thing, and then it's weather sealed by this O-ring. It's locked in place, so it's good to go. You take the cap off, that's where the extra plugs are stored. Okay, now let's get inside this thing. First things first are the little bits. We have a zip tie, just for utilitarian purposes, a valve extender, just in case you have some deep rims, which I do, and a 48 millimeter uh, tube stem isn't gonna cut it. Also, in case you're riding with people that have it. And then an extra hanger, which this one fits the Rove and the Jakes. A tire lever. This nifty little tool from Wolf Tooth Components is a, a multi-use gadget. We've got a master link opener and closer, place to store extra master links. This is a tire lever and this Y-shaped hole is for uh, valve cores. Also, customized by my good friend at Wolf Tooth, Jack Hinkins. I keep some weather sealed uh, 2032 batteries in my bag. Uh, I ride a power meter and uh, use a heart rate monitor. So this way if something happens, I can uh, if it dies out on the trail, I can simply pop a new one in. No stress, still harvesting the data, still getting the training done, and uh, I can keep on adventuring. Right here is a tube, 650B tube for the 650B wheels, but I keep it in this plastic bag because uh, I don't know if you've ever been in a situation, I know I have, where you go to pull a tube out, you got a flat, and you go to put air in it, uh, and the tools that have rattled around in your bag have worn a hole in your tube and then your SOL. So I would wrap your tube in a bag if I were you and save yourself the hassle. Lastly, a multi-tool. Uh, just make sure that it has an assortment of Torx, Phillips, and flathead as well as different Allen wrenches. I like ones that have eights on them, that way if you have a pedal problem or a crank problem, you can fix it. Also, I recommend having one with a chain tool on it. That way you can break a chain, and this one conveniently has a spoke wrench as well. Okay, next up, a frame pump. This is a Lazain high volume pump. Recommend a high volume pump for bigger tires. It'll save you some time. I also recommend getting a frame pump that has a, uh, 
a flexible connector that way when you're putting air in your in your uh, tire or tube um, you're not reefing on the valve stem potentially uh, breaking a core bending a core so I also wrap some gorilla tape around the pump I don't carry a patch kit with me I find that patch kits work well once and then you go to use it again and the glues dried out so this takes that place I just pulled a piece of tape off put it over the hole on the tube put the tube in and uh, that'll get me home this also goes in my uh, seat pack. It's just a little thing of WD-40 bike lube. It's just handy to have if you're riding through an area that you're crossing a lot of creeks where your chain is getting uh, wet, then dry, then wet, then dry. Sometimes that can wear out the lubricant. So instead of riding with a squeaky chain for hours, you just put that little bit in there. Next up is water filtration. This is the Sawyer Squeeze filtration system. I like this one because it's uh, pretty, pretty flat and packable. What you do is you just fill this up, screw this on and squeeze water through, uh, fill your bottles. And then what's also cool is you can fill this with dirty water, cap it, take it with you. Uh, then if you don't know when your next water source is gonna be, you have an extra half a liter of water and uh, you can filter it on the road. Next, which is my favorite, is food. Uh, I always pack some gels in case I'm bonking and hit the wall and need some quick energy. This has caffeine, this one's doesn't. These are my two favorite flavors. Also, for when you run out of the drink mix in your bottles, you pack one of these salted watermelon with extra sodium blocks, and uh, that'll keep you moving, plus it tastes amazing. Then for uh, hard, harder foods like bars, uh, the nut butter filled ones are my favorite, and this maple almond butter one right here is bomb. And then this is this tart cherry cubes. Um, yeah, this is my go-to. This here wallet made from recycled leather from some of Lizard Skin's uh, protective gear. Um, they burned Sherman into it for me for just a little bit of good luck. And then I put some cash in there, carry some cards, and uh, get a Snickers when I need it. Lastly, a packable rain jacket. This one from 7mesh. This is the Oro rain jacket at 94 grams. Look how little this thing folds up. And uh, it's completely waterproof, but also super breathable. It's Gore-Tex active, shake dry. So it's like the perfect packable, lightweight rain jacket for those cold descents or pop-up afternoon showers. Okay, so that's everything. Uh, then I just put all that in there and uh, that's about it. All right, so that's everything in the bag. Uh, fits in there really nice and there's even some extra room. Put the food on top for easy access. And then, yeah, super easy to zipper shut. Then in the uh, flatter side, I put the, the flatter things, the water filtration system, my wallet and collapsed uh, platypus for the filter. All that one-handed zippering. No snags, no frustration. So maybe you're thinking, okay, that's not that much stuff. I can just put it in my pocket. Why do I need to buy a bag? And that's fine. If you want to put stuff in your pockets, that's cool. I personally just hate baggy, saggy pockets. Uh, I like just wearing a jersey and like maybe putting my phone in there to listen to music or to, to have for quick access. So I like to have the majority of my stuff in this bag. It just feels better for me. Um, plus, then you can wear that super cute toffee ball that doesn't have pockets, right? Yeah, so please let me know what you guys are putting in your frame bags. Let me know what I should put in mine that I don't have in there right now. And, uh, yeah, we'll get a little frame bag wars going. Show me your best setup. Uh, thanks for watching.